Hey everyone, good evening. It's your friend Jeff from the Village Youth Company. That's me. All right, I think we're good. I hope everybody's doing well. Today is on this Wednesday. All right, tonight I thought we would do something totally different, uh, something that's popular uh, in my shop, but nothing that we've ever done before, and that's um, mini wreaths like really small wreaths, like four inch wreaths, <laughs> as you can see. They're just little, like four inch, well, maybe a little bit more than that, five, six inch, uh, little grapevines, okay? Hello, Tracy. So, uh, I have a couple. I don't know how many we'll do tonight, but I'll just get basically show you how, how we do it. Um, cause this opens up a whole, whole other market to tell you the truth. Okay. So let me show you, um, basically how we're going to do it here. How's that sound? All right. So let me zoom you guys in here. I have to zoom you in really close if I can, just because these are so small. I'll just leave the phone down here because I'll be leaning over half the time anyways. So. So basically what I did is I just took, um, this one is like just a standard 5 8 inch ribbon that I just cut up and made it into like a little funky bow. Uh, it's a little hard. Hi, Sherry. It's a little hard with um, big fingers, but it works out. And then I did like this little ticking bow ribbon here. And what I literally did with that... Um, as I just took one and a half inch and I just cut here for a few yards and here and that made it thin enough so I could make a bow. Alright. So for this we'll probably just need to use the glue gun. We don't need the big glue pot for this. Um, yeah. Quite sure I know how to use a glue gun anymore since I very, 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 very rarely use it, but we're good. We're good. Hello, Sherry. I don't know if I said hello or not, but hello. <laughs> right. So uh, I think I'll do this one first. All right. Hello, Pam. And we'll see how that how that goes. So I thought we would replicate uh, like a lemon wreath that we did a couple weeks ago. Let me see if I can reach it here. Well, we did a bigger one a few weeks ago, and then I did a smaller one um, on a tutorial, but that one. Remember that? So we're basically just going to replicate that only a lot smaller. <laughs> I mean, it'll look totally different, but obviously. But it'll have the same principles, okay? So we've got the same principles. We've got our grapevine, and we've got our ticking ribbon bow happening, okay? So then I went to the store and I bought just a, a bush um, of lemons, small lemons. Actually, I took some off already, but it was just a little bush of lemons. All right. And then I have some boxwood that I trimmed up and some berries that I had left over. And we'll see how this turns out. Initially, these, these lemons are going to probably look a little big um, for our liking. But once the whole design comes into play, then we'll we'll be okay. Um, and the leaves are pretty big, but that's okay. It makes your, your wreath a little bit wider here, all right? Uh, Michael's, I think I got almost everything here at Michael's, to tell you the truth. Okay. So like I said, glue gun, mm, don't use it that much, so let's see how this goes. Oh, also, I'm just using like some boxwood like from a bush and all I did take it apart and trim it down a little bit into nice little small pieces there we go <laughs> that's how we do it and then I just pretty much come through put a little glue down and just start sliding stuff in this takes a while because everything is so small. Um, so it's not the typical wreath where we can go boom, boom, bam and be done, you know. 
but that is okay. It just takes like a lot, a lot of, a lot more pieces too. But I did, uh, I cut this up ahead of time just so you guys didn't have to deal with me doing that. So I'm just going to put a few in to start. Then I'll come in and start adding like some leaves. I'm also doing this upside down so Lord only knows what it's going to look like. And what gets tricky is you need to kind of find a gap in your wreath base here where you can slide stuff in. And of course glue kind of helps helps slide it in. But again, you have to find that right spot. There we go. And we're going to come through and fill in, so don't panic if it looks kind of awkward at the moment. It'll get better. I promise. And then this, this had like little, little flowers on it. So we can use those too. So just trim the whole thing down while I'm here. No, don't go. Okay, well, we'll have to go get that one. When it's needed. <laughs> and here you can kind of see a bunch of stuff. So all I'm going to do is try to cover it over a little bit with our, with our flower. I'm just going to continue around our wreath here and you can either like just kind of like squirt your glue out as if it's like your glue pot or you can just you know put it in in along the um, along the wreath whatever is easiest for you sometimes I do this just because I don't want such a huge um, trail if you will inside of, of glue, but at the end of the day, it probably really doesn't matter. All right, okay. And then I have these cute little berries, like I said, left over from before. We'll put them in too in a bit. Let me go get this lemon that fell. Okay. And we'll just put in a couple more lemons really quick. That way that will be done. Can work around that. Oops, those aren't clippers. Now we can work around them. There we go. A little bit of glue. I guess we'll probably try. Ouch! That glue's hot. <laughs> no kidding. I'm just going to throw in some glue here just to help hold it on. It's kind of fragile. There we go. We'll throw one more in here. It doesn't matter where they are. They don't have to be evenly spaced or anything. They can just be uh, just put in here as you want. And now literally we're just going to come through with our, our greenery and uh, fill in. Again, it does take a little more time than a big wreath, but it's still fun. People really like them. Sorry, 
you have to watch this tedious part of me putting in all these little mini pieces, but that's what I have to do. So I hope everybody's having a good week so far. It's Wednesday already, that's a good thing. Till your Memorial Day weekend. I'm working most of the weekend, but that's okay because um, it's a holiday, so of course you got holiday pay, and on top of that, guess what? It's more money to feed my budget for supplies. <laughs> right? So I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's just kind of coming together kind of quick. Well, might not seem quick, but it is kind of quick. Given what it is and the intricate details that we have to do to it. I am burning myself more on the stupid glue gun than I do the glue pot. And the glue pot's a lot more dangerous, right? Gee. the brightest star in the sky, that's for sure. Plus I am working upside down, which I'm not used to. So again, this is a very glue heavy project, but I mean, I'm already more than halfway done. Yay. Go me. <laughs> Like I said, I just have these little berries from before. Another project. Just bop them in here and there. Yeah. Tweezers, yes. Except then you'd see my hand shaking, trying to put them in really. <laughs> but you're right, I did think of that. I could probably do tweezers if it wasn't on a live show, just because it would probably take me twice as long. Hi, Gershelda, welcome. So the little wreath, it's like, um, I think it's like five or six. Right around there. And you can get them at Michael's with the rest of the wreaths. I think I'll trim these leaves down and Attach them separately here. But all the concept is still the same. You still work in the same direction, the same flow. None of that changes. So our guiding principles don't change. This one's going to be a there. Ha! I always win. Never, ever argue with me.
So I don't need all this here either, either, at all. I'm just taking, bop that in there. I'm literally just gonna finish up with our little boxwoods and berries. I'll show you what we do with it when we're done here. When we're done, I'll probably come back through and fill it in some more, but I want you guys just to get the general idea here as to what we're trying to accomplish. Again, we could be here <laughs> all night putting these little pieces of boxwood in. But yeah, we still used wired ribbon to help help it keep its shape. Definitely need to do that. Oops. There's more glue. There we go. Yeah. Dribbling glue everywhere. There. I have a few. Once again, not the clippers, there we go. Just bop in some berries. And what we do is you just take one of these little stands. Pardon all the glue strings, but there you go. That's basically how how that works. Cute idea, huh? And then I'll spare you guys the having to watch, but what I'm going to do here with this one at a later time, peaches, a cute little peach wreath. So you just take your little greenery and put it throughout and do some peaches. It'll be cute as well. But yeah, you just literally... Okay, I can't help myself. I'll start it just to show you. And then I'll show you the finished product when we're done down the road. How's that? So, literally... Take the peaches and just glue the oops. Ugh. And just glue them in with our peach leaves and do that all the way around with more greenery here and there. Again, I'm just kind of quickly showing you the, the concept, what we're gonna be working with, and just put some peaches throughout. It's not gonna be as filled in as this one. It's gonna be a little bit more um, minimal, minimalistic however you wish to call it. <laughs> so we'll do that with another one and then another one. So I'm gonna work on, I think it's gonna have like yellow roses in it. Uh, maybe some 
little berries, some filler. So that would be a yellow wreath, right? And I just got a little bushel of, I don't know if these are morning glories, probably. Uh, that will work out just as well, right? There we go. I will get started on those and we'll get all those posted to show you guys later in the week. How does that sound? So yeah, the ornament hangers are awesome. You can get them like pff, dime a dozen at Amazon. So, so that's it, you guys. I know it wasn't much, but I wanted to at least show you something different that we're working on around here. And because these are popular, these are very popular in, in our shop here. There you go. I'll try to bring it a little closer. Oh, here. Whoop. There. Bring it a little bit closer for you. So, and we can make even smaller wreaths. All right. Um, let me show you. Hang on. What else do we do? So you can also get even smaller, even smaller, yes. And then also on Amazon, these little clips, yeah, let me zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. These little alligator clip things with a little wooden base, get a small wreath, decorate it a little bit literally take this clip it it's going to take a little finagling um, and there's a whole other a whole other wreath concept for you oops like i said it takes some finagling you have to get it just the right spot Make sure it's not top heavy, so you kind of have to adjust your clip a bit. But, but yeah, that's another idea for you. All right. So there you guys go. Ah, yeah, I do sell the ornament stand with the wreath. Um, yes, Pam. I just throw it in the box with it, and they can choose to use it with it or without. It's totally up to them. And if not, then they've got the ornament holder. <laughs> so, all right. So like I said, I will get going on the others, uh, work on them periodically throughout the, the week. And hopefully by the end of the week, I can get some ones posted there for you so you guys can see them. Oops. All right. So I know it was kind of short, but short and small. But anyways. I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. I hope to see you again really soon. Definitely over the weekend for sure. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below here or send me an email, info at villagereath.com. Um, also have our sale going on this week, our one year anniversary sale. So you can check that out in our Etsy shop. And that's about it. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for spending part of your Wednesday night with me. Uh, like I always say, couldn't have done it without you. So it means so much. Um, so in the meantime, please be safe, everybody. We'll see you again soon. All right. Take care. Bye.